Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about data parameterization in our locust. And in my previous video I explained like a post method how we can able to use hard coded values and how it is work out right. But when you using hard coded values, it will work for only one request. It will not helpful for second request. Correct. To overcome that, we can able to use CSV reader. In this demo, I'm using for CSV reader. You can able to use for some text file. You can able to use for XML file. You can use for Excel file. You can use directly JSON and randomly change the values. Anyone you can able to use it. Okay. In this demo, I used for CSV reader. In this CSV reader, you can able to create any location. Which is directory place or project place. Okay, you can able to create another new directory, and that inside that directory you can able to create. What exactly values you have to create for this particular four values? Okay, which is the payload you required? Now in in this case I use for this particular request URL. That's why I'm using for these four values. In your case, you different value and different parameters. Based upon that, you can able to create here the values. If you have 100 values, 100 different values in a one single line. Don't use for different lines. Single line you have to create for that 100 values. And the same inside that particular session uh, down only you have to create the proper format of the values. What are the values you have? I created for six different format of values. Okay. After that, we need to read for the CSV reader. For this, I created for on CSV reader class that uh, file in Python file. In that Python file, inside the CSV reader, we created. For reading purpose, we need to import for CSV reader. This is basically the inbuilt of Python having that we can able to use it in build methods. We need to initiate that value to read the file whenever you use the CSV reader class name. We need to provide for file location and then data reader is our function in that function we need to use for file open one this is opening that file where exactly the file it is presented that file location it will read okay and distinct reader is basically which is a file it is open all the values one by one it will read and that it will store into a reader place we need to read that entire one by one value purpose i created for list is an empty and for loop one by one reading and one by one value into adding into a this list place appending and that which is a list is coming that we are returning for that read function read data one it will uh, return for the data once it is reading we need to call that which is a class python file reading json file that function we need to import from csv reader dot import csv reader this is a class name this is the file name okay and importing random is basically to reading one by one random for here we use for csv reader it is taking the file path which is the file where it is located complete path dot reader data this is a function uh, retaining the values okay Inside the function value, we need to test data, right? In test data, we need to random dot choice. Random dot choice, what will happen? It will read for randomly values. And we can able to use name, gender, email status. We can able to read inside the which is the test data values are coming. Okay. And we need to pass it that values into a post call place. Okay. And here we can able to hit it for post method low cost iphone f low cost files that is because of this file location directory and post method dot py this is a file of post method py file and we can able to run our i'm using for single request you can able to see the response it is even it is coming Correct. It is taking 201 and every time it is taking the file and it is taking the locations. I'm just I'm going to stop for this request. Two requests only it is taken and two requests it is provided for 201. Response status as 201. Correct. And also it is accepted for the value which is a location 1, 
locus 2, locus 3, and there are a couple of values, right? Which is I provided in the CSV data. That particular location, that why all the values it will read, and the random method it will read that randomly, and it will choose and it will provide it into a post method. This is a format without failing purpose. We can able to use our uh, random value changing because we need to whenever we need to run for that uh, one hour two hours time uh, if you are doing hard coded values it will keep on fail to overcome that this random value changing purpose we can able to use in case in, in your case everything values are uh, same and you need to email place you have to change the only one number placements you can able to use that particular one as a random okay that moment what will happen no need to bother about that it will keep on it will pass in my case i used one two three four five and here one two three five that names also that numbers also we can able to change randomly okay without failing 100 times 200 times also we can able to hit and we can able to pass it our payload without failing this okay i hope you understand this parameterization please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you